When Assassin's Creed first released in 2007, it was wholly unique. There hadn't been anything quite like it before. Its creator was tasked with making a Prince of Persia sequel by Ubisoft, after the great success of The Sands of Time, and instead he came up with what would be an entirely new IP. It's a miracle this idea was greenlit. Can you imagine Ubisoft taking such a risk today? Imagine someone was tasked with making another Assassin's Creed sequel, and instead went to Ubisoft with something completely new. Maybe I'm just being cynical, but I don't feel like Ubisoft would be too open to that. But because Ubisoft was willing to put Patrice Desilets' idea in motion, they ended up with a complete hit on their hands. A game that brought something revolutionary to the gaming industry, spawning a franchise that is now bigger than Prince of Persia ever was. After the original, the creators developed what I believe to be one of the best video game sequels at the time in Assassin's Creed 2. With it selling even better than the first game, Ubisoft knew they had a gold mine on their hands, and the milking of the franchise began, with new games planned every year. By 2010, Assassin's Creed had become Ubisoft's biggest priority, and the series it was born from, Prince of Persia, had become almost an afterthought. The series creator, Patrice Desilets, being someone highly creative who liked to pursue new ideas, I mean, that's how Assassin's Creed was created to begin with, understandably didn't want to just be pumping out these games non-stop. His original plan was to end the series at six games. Ubisoft wasn't going to let that happen with how much money it was making. So among other reasons, he left during the development of Brotherhood, and Ubisoft, not having to experiment or pursue new creative ideas anymore, because why would they when they have such a surefire, safe moneymaker, has continuously put a bulk of its resources behind Assassin's Creed. And if you thought 13 main entries, 17 spin-off games, a movie, mobile games, VR, and all these other ways the series has been shoved down our throats was a lot, it's only going to be milked even harder in the years to come. Ubisoft set a plan in motion a couple years back to double down on their established IPs, and now they're planning to release 10 Assassin's Creed games in the next 5 years with even more than that currently in development, including remakes. Why would they take those resources and put it behind a new idea when Assassin's Creed is such a safe bet? I mean, a remake of an already beloved AC game is an even safer bet. That next big, new, creative, revolutionary IP or game could exist as an idea in someone's head. The next Assassin's Creed. But the chances it ever sees the light of day at Ubisoft are slim when they're so focused on churning these games out over and over until they can't be anymore. Anyways, you might be wondering what this has to do with me. This video is called, I'm Getting Tired of Assassin's Creed After All. Well, in December of this year, my channel is going to be 5 years old. And in those 5 years, 90%, perhaps even more of my content, has been about Assassin's Creed. It's my favorite game series, it's the one I'm most passionate about, despite all the frustrations it gives me, and because of this channel, Assassin's Creed is almost always on my mind. And to be honest, it gets exhausting sometimes. Some of you may have noticed lately that I haven't been uploading nearly as frequently as I usually do, in large part because I feel like I've been having a bit of an existential crisis. While I was making that very long Assassin's Creed Odyssey video, it dawned on me that over these near five years I've been making videos, I've just been slowly getting tired of Assassin's Creed. Which I think is only inevitable, talking about mainly one series so much for so long, it's only natural I'd get quite tired of it eventually. And while I enjoyed making those videos because I love to talk about Assassin's Creed, and I had a lot of passion behind my ideas, there was a time earlier in my channel when I had a lot more variety in the types of games I talked about, and I wasn't as afraid to experiment with new ideas and make videos on different games that weren't Assassin's Creed. But I guess over time, as more people started to watch me and expect Assassin's Creed videos from me, I felt more of a pressure to keep that up. And in the occasion when I did branch out and do videos on other games, they wouldn't do as well and I had people in my comments being like, why are you talking about this? We don't watch you for this. 
and that would just get me feeling really depressed and like I wasted my time when I could have been making another Assassin's Creed video. So eventually, I just felt like, fine, I'll just put almost all my focus into Assassin's Creed, still doing something different every once in a while, but it's been like 99% Assassin's Creed stuff for the past year. Like I said, I wasn't miserable doing that or anything, but I just started feeling the need for a change. The reason I brought up how much Assassin's Creed has been milked and will continue to be milked in the years to come is because playing and talking about 10 different Assassin's Creed games in the next 5 years is surely going to burn me out on this franchise, if I'm already starting to feel a little tired of it. It just got me thinking, how much is too much Assassin's Creed at this point? I don't want to be burned out on this franchise because I still love it and want to talk about it in the future, but I'm gonna lose all my desire to do so if I continue to only talk about Assassin's Creed. That wouldn't be fun for me, nor do I think it would be fun for you guys to watch, especially if my heart was no longer in it. And then I also remembered what Ubisoft is doing with Assassin's Creed and realized I don't want to be like Ubisoft, milking the safe thing over and over until I can't anymore, when I have so many creative ideas and new things I want to explore, regardless of if they fail or not. When I decided to go all in on YouTube, it was a big risk at that moment of my life. But I did it because I always wanted to do it, and I didn't want to be one of those people who just settled on the safe option with a job they hate and be stuck doing that forever. So I decided, screw it, before I was even making any kind of income from YouTube, I decided I was going for it. If I failed, I failed. I'd rather reach for the stars, fail spectacularly, and fall from the sky than settle for a job I would hate. But over time, a part of me has sort of become scared to fail. This is how I support myself. If I make a shift in the kind of content I make and it doesn't work, what do I do? It would be so much easier to just keep doing what's already been working and not have to worry about that. That was a fear in the back of my mind for a while. But then I remembered why I did this in the first place. If safety and security was all I wanted, I would have done something else, not YouTube. I chose to do this because I love it, so I feel an obligation to myself to pursue whatever video idea I'm feeling passionate about, Assassin's Creed or otherwise. I'm not going to continue to just hyper-focus on Assassin's Creed videos like I was. The point of this video isn't to say I'm never talking about Assassin's Creed again. I still will. But when I do, I want it to be a substantial idea and something my heart is really in. Despite all the headaches it gives me, it's still my favorite series, and I still feel like I have more things to say that I haven't yet. I still want to finish my series with how far can I get in the games without being spotted, and the but when I die the video ends for the AC games as well. I really enjoy making those. I thought they were a fresh way to re-experience a lot of the games, and there's only a couple games left to make videos for. But you can also expect me to talk about different games and topics a lot more moving forward. I understand there may be some people who watch me that may not be happy with that, but I've got to keep myself creatively fulfilled and enjoying what I'm doing. Otherwise, what's the point? It honestly still scares me a bit, change is always kind of scary, but I hope you guys will understand and continue to follow me through this change. Your support means everything to me, and if I have the choice to be the creator who pursues his passions and ambitions, even if it means failure, or milk the safe thing because it makes money, I'd much rather be the former. Thank you once again to everyone who's been with me through these five years. It's been a really difficult couple months for me, but I'm excited for this new direction I'm headed towards in the future. And as always, thank you for listening to my ramblings, and have a great rest of your day, Assassins.